Hi, and welcome to episode six of our Beach House Renovation. I'm Haley Stuckler Hoyt. I'm here with my dad, John Stuckler, and my daughter, Teresa. Our family is fixing up a house in North Beach, Maryland. Today, we're gonna be going over the plumbing layouts. We have our plumber, Jimmy Severn of Severn Plumbing. So we're gonna go over plumbing. He's gonna help us. We're gonna ask questions about the layouts that we have in our heads. Are they gonna work best with the dimensions? And then at the end of this episode, we're gonna give you a house tour so you can see what the house looks now. The d demo is done. Cool. So let's step into this new bathroom. This was the laundry room. That was the bathroom. We've taken that all out and put the walls in. What we want to do here is we want to put a wall across here and make a walk-in closet for this bedroom. And what I need Jimmy to do is use his professional advice to tell me how many inches I need for the toilet. And what, what I was thinking we'd do is put the shower in this corner, a 36-inch stand-up shower, and the toilet here. And I just need to know that we got enough room for, say, code and things like that. So, Jim, do you think that might work as far as the layout? We could always move that door, but if we didn't have to, that'd be great. Yeah, it, the, you, your measurements right here were right on the money with 36 by 36. And you have absolute, uh, plenty of room for your toilet to fit right back in there in mm -hmm. between the two. Well, how much room do you need for a toilet for code? I mean, they want um, 15 inches side to side. 15 side to so side. Does that include the toilet itself? That includes the, the whole thing. The width. So yeah. it's like nine inches or so on each side. It, well, yeah, Roughly. you said the toilet and everything. Yeah, okay, cool. But so, um, you know, the double threshold shower it so you can have glass on both sides so you don't need to build a wall or you can build a wall. And as far as moving the door, you know, I would just keep the door there so you could have the shower there and you wouldn't have to go through major. Right, door, right. You know, it sounds easy to move the door, the but the it's not always that easy. So we'll put a little uh, corner vanity here. And then once again, this will be a wall across the back of here. And that's going to create a walk-in closet for this bedroom in the back that doesn't have a closet. So it's not a bedroom because it has to have a closet and a window to be a closet. So then we'll have a nice walk-in closet for that room, and that'll become our third bedroom. Is the vanity going to stick out too far? Like, if I walk in, am I going to hit it? Like, where would that even Well, if you see this go? corner mark, go ahead, Jim. But on the corner mark, you know, you could buy a 22-inch in, in depth um, vanity top. You can buy the 18. But regardless, you're going to have to have it, and it's going to be sticking out to a certain point and everything. But... It, it, it will be a nice big bathroom. There'll be plenty of room to, to move in and out and have access to everything for, for safety. Right, and we could move this wall back, say six inches, if we needed to add some more depth. That's kind of what we need Jimmy for here, his expertise, because he's done a million of these things. But we want to keep our closet at least three foot seven wide for a walk, and that'll allow an L-shaped setup so we can walk in and kind of you know, if you're the type of person that hangs their clothes up, which I, <laughs> I like to put mine on an array on the floor so that or I can see chairs. what I got. I can see all my worldly possessions. <laughs> Did we introduce Ree Ree? Reese, 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 Reese. Her name's Teresa, but she goes by Reese. Hi. Hi it's breakfast time. She got the bottle. She <laughs> got the bottle. <laughs> so this bathroom's not going to be too tight. No, right? no okay. not at all. I was just worried because, like, yeah. it's it's going to be a small stand-up shower, but a 36, is that average? Like, is that typical? Or? Yeah, for especially for first floor, and, and it's, going to okay. be, it's going to be used as the powder room, per se, yes. and, and, you know, the bathroom for the bedroom mm -hmm. down the air. Yeah, and it's and, right off the living room, too. So oh, yeah, it's good. nice access. And, and then the room around there, that they can use that shower. Okay. That's why we're going to keep the shower idea there. Mm -hmm. Now, on this back right. wall, I don't know if we went over this before, but we've put a little bump in here. So we're going to put a stackable here, and then the water heater will go beside it, and then this will leave us all this for a nice yeah. pantry a for storage pantry, for the yeah. kitchen. So there'll be a wall across here, if you follow kind of the outline of the ceiling, it'll be a wall across there, and then you'll have kind of like two, a door for the pantry, and then this will be a door for the washing machine and the water heater, and we've got enough room to put a shelf or two there. you got to be tall to use them, but hey, of course. <laughs> Storage, storage, storage. You can never have enough storage. Definitely. Right? So that's kind of, this is all opened up. We've taken this wall out. This was the old bathroom. Yeah. So we've kind of taken all that up. And Jimmy's got a little work to do with capping some pipes and whatnot there. 
Don't give too much of an update. That's the end. Right now we're sticking with the plumbing. So let's plumbing. go upstairs. Plumbing. Plumbing. <laughs> <laughs> So here we are in what we're calling the master. The upstairs was two bedrooms and one bath. So what we want to create here is going to be a three bedroom, three full bath home. In case we want to go to the Airbnb route, because there's a lot of weddings and stuff down here at Harrington Harbor and the Rod and Reel, and there's not a lot of hotel rooms. So we, we might go the Airbnb route. We haven't quite figured that out yet. Let us know in the comments if you think we should do Airbnb or if you've done it before, because we're not sure. We don't know anybody that's actually rented out their house, so we don't know any positive yeah. or negative reviews. So let, let us know in the comments for sure. Right, and also know if you want to rent it out on Airbnb, we'll let, give you a special discount if you use <laughs> hashtag Facebook Live, Team Stuck okay. or Beach Fixer Upper. <laughs> So this was not <laughs> Don't actually do that. I'm not kidding. She's kidding. But this was our old walk-in master closet here. So we're going to create a whole bedroom, bathroom here. So we needed to figure out dimensions and stuff. And that's what Jim, I'm going to let Jim tell you how we're going to lay this out. Because we might need to move some walls around to create, you know, the perfect scenario. But we don't want it to be too tight. It's a master. You know, right. So, and I feel right. like this is kind of tight. It's, it's kind of tight now. I'd, I'd make it the typical five foot in width um, and depth. And again, bring it out another, you know, move the this to the back side of the two by four. And that'd, right. give you, that'd give you a room for the a nice 36 inch shower. You have the appropriate size and um, space for the toilet and for the vanity to fit right in there. It'd be a nice bathroom. So you, who was saying something about putting pocket doors in there, that that might work? Well, just thinking, I don't know, just tossing it out as an idea. Should we do, what do you recommend, Jimmy? Like, is this going to be enough pocket. space? Or? My kids know, I love pocket he doors. He loves pocket doors. What do you all think? Pocket doors or just a regular <laughs> old door? Just have them open up towards your, we're thinking like, Living you know, space. the bed's going to be yeah. right here. Open up this way. Yeah. So what we're doing, we're going to have to move this wall over about three or four inches and we're going to have to bring this out about a foot to make that an appropriate size bedroom and then i think since jimmy's the plumber we're going to probably go with this pocket door ideas unless you all don't like that and overrule it but we're going to give him a lot of say so on how things go because we believe in letting professionals tell us from their experience and jimmy's done a lot of fixer uppers and things like that in the past with his son and he bought a house on the water which coincidentally is getting ready to come on the market, so we're going to be hitting you with that too. That's supposed to be another show. You're not supposed to say that, remember? Okay, I'm not supposed to say that. So didn't, you didn't hear that. Well, where's the shower? Like, where do you think the shower and the I, toilet, whatever, should go? John wants it right here in the corner, which would be fine. And if it's going to be a four-foot shower, and I, I think you should put a seat in there, or a, you know, to give a, somewhere to shave your yeah, legs. Yeah, right. Exactly, a place to. Just rest for a minute. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. And I, I like to shave my legs in the shower, so that'll work out great. <laughs> a little bit too much. <laughs> yeah, TMI, Dad. All right. Well, and then we're thinking the walk in closet here. Right. Or? And so, right here, this will all be kind of boxed in. And then this is the new ductwork. We moved the air handler up into the attic to create room in the bathroom where we were before. So that was down there and it took up a lot of rooms. So now we have it up here, uh, put up there by Tommy Cedar, the air conditioning leader from Round P. Cedar. And that's why it's a little bit crooked. I'm just kidding, Tommy. But anyway, this will kind of be our closet right here. And I was just thinking, hey, you know, either a pocket door or come in this way. And so you can have enough room to have like kind of a walk-in closet for the master bedroom. I was thinking though, and let us know in the comments what you think. So, you want water? <laughs> we're gonna walk in. This is the master. You're gonna walk in, and there's a wall right here, which, yeah, you could put a frame, pictures, whatever. So, you have a little hallway until you get to your master. But I was thinking maybe we'll do pocket doors. Like, if you come and then you can open up and look at your beautiful closet. And that way, on this side, 
you're across from where you would put the bed, mm -hmm. and you could have your TV right here. Or two TVs. Or, or two TVs, yeah. <laughs> I don't know, what do you think? Well, yeah, because if you have two, two TVs, you can watch two football games at the same time. Okay, no, no, I don't mean that. <laughs> I mean, I think we should have a wall here. We have the door, maybe pocket doors for our master, a solid wall here instead of just a bunch of doors. Oh, right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I feel like it should be solid. And if we put, like, mirrored, Stanley-type mirrored sliding doors here, it might not feel so tight because the mirrors might make give it the illusion of feeling a little more, a little more wide. I don't know about the mirrors. So let us know in the comments if you think we should have the mirrored doors. I'm sorry, Dad. I don't know. I might have to take her back. But let us know if she you She saw think. the bottle. She wanted the bottle. It wasn't me. <laughs> if we should have the mirrored <laughs> closet doors or if we should just have a pocket door, either one or two that opens up. Um, I don't know. I'm kind of going iffy if I like the mirrored look, look of the doors or if I don't. So let us know in the comments. Should we do mirrored closet doors or just like a solid, a regular wood pocket door? Cool. Sounds great. And All once right. again, we want to give a shout out to Severn Plumbing. They're right in Owings. This is Jimmy right here. And he's going to be, you're going to get a chance to watch the progress as it unfolds. And we know you're busy, so we appreciate you coming down here and, you know, helping us lay this out. Because next we're going to bring in Mark Mazzula to help uh, chew on a pencil. No, just kidding, Mark. To frame all this up so Jimmy can come in here and get to work. Well, we have one more bathroom. Are we going to leave this the same? Right. Let's we do have another quick. bathroom that we just kind of gutted. This was the original bathroom for both bedrooms. And it was kind of tight, as you can kind of see. But we're just going to basically put in a new <laughs> diverter because Jimmy told us this isn't to code. So this stuff you need a professional for. Oh, good to know. I didn't know that. So we got to change out all this, kind of keep the tub here. It's a noogie tight gonna have a little small sink there because this is basically for this room here but it will have its own uh bathroom so each bedroom will have kind of their own bathroom yep, so this house will have three bedrooms and three full baths right which is great more than enough space right so and patty our team leader couldn't be here because she's on a conference mm -hmm. call and Connor, our main man, he's at a settlement so it's good to have a team because you get pulled in a lot of directions in real estate so let us know what you're thinking, and uh, so we'll oh, Teresa Foley, by the way, says pocket door, no mirrors. Ooh, Teresa, shout you. out to Teresa Foley and Pooh, her <laughs> husband Pooh. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Teresa. <laughs> so cool. So I guess until next time. On wait, we gotta give the update. Let's give the Real update. Quick. But if you have any questions while well, we have Jimmy, definitely leave those. Comment them below. So. We have some good advice right here. So um, just real quick, here's the bedroom now opened up. We did have a closet right here, as you can see. It did open from right here. The stairs are right there, and this is how it opened. Now it opened up this room so much. So we'll probably have like a bed here. We're leaving the existing closet. It's really an oversized bedroom, but it's good, especially if we do an Airbnb. You know, so right. maybe they can. There was a huge closet here, but now the bed will fit in here nicely. Perfect. Against yeah. this wall, and then we're going to redo this closet with some organizers and whatnot, but kind of basically leave that how it is. So, you want to take them downstairs, downstairs and show them yep. that wall? or? Yep, cool. Let's do that. Cool. You, I guess you can use the door. I'm not going to use the door <laughs> because I'm not carrying a baby, so I'm just going to go through here because I've been working over here with no air conditioning. <laughs> I've lost about six pounds already. <laughs> so if anybody else wants to lose some weight, they can meet me over here and just sweat it out. <laughs> Free workout. <laughs> Free workout. Okay, so coming from the front door, as you just saw, we're going to open up this whole area. So I don't know how well you can see it from there. We want to take this out so you can see right through to your living room. And then I want to have uh, where we have, we open up this wall like a half wall and have the banisters. So you can actually see the stairs. It's going to feel so much bigger. So I'm excited about that. Yeah, Take you down. We have the bathroom, the first one that we went over today. Bathroom on the back of this wall. The other side will be the closet and then the washer and dryer. So we're here through to the living room. And we opened this all up and we did put in a new beam. Is that Correct? Yeah, yeah. Oh, there was a wall me? here, and this is a bearing wall. So we had Mark Mazzola put in an engineered yes. beam to carry that load. 
and K and H Electric down at the beach here. Rick, he's going to get someone over here as soon as he can to kind of rewire this section so we can frame all this in. And then he's got a couple other things that aren't as urgent, like running the line to the air conditioner and relocating the dryer electricity. So as soon as he gets over here and moves these, we can kind of bulkhead frame all this in. And Woo! And we'll give you an update. <laughs> and do you want to save our ideas for the kitchen too? Um, you could, stuff? yeah, yeah. Ask them about you know? that aisle because some people don't like it. And some okay, people do. so we have two options for the kitchen after our close up of this beautiful <laughs> little <laughs> Teresa. <laughs> okay, so for the kitchen, we have right now, this is the, I'm going to close the store. Oh, wow, that really makes it dark. All right, I'll leave it open. <laughs> okay, so right now, this is our kitchen. So, two options. We either can extend the kitchen up to like about here and then make a little peninsula right here and have bar stools, maybe two bar stools. I think that would probably be a good enough size. So that's option one. Or we could make this, extend it out some and then do an island right here. The only thing about the island is you do have a door right here. So it would be a little tight. It could be a smaller island. I think I personally am leaning towards having the peninsula. So you have more seating. I mean, you always need more seating. We want to entertain. Uh, entertain people for an Airbnb, you know, lots of people come in there. Oh, okay. Um, and then also we're going to have our dining room table right here, living room there, just to give you a good idea and a reminder of how it's going to be. Thank you. You needed that image. <laughs> hey, I got a question for Jimmy. Now look, we got all this plumbing here. This is the old sink and then there's the toilet and whatnot. What do we do with the... Do we... You're going to have to get underneath there and cut everything out. Cap it all. You cut you cut it out, or do you can you just cap it from up here and just leave it, or what do you got to do there? You, you didn't get that. I said you have to get underneath there. You have to get you underneath have there. To get under got you. <laughs> no, I got to crawl underneath there and cap everything off. Got you, but you can't it. cap it from the top here. No, you, we'll clean it all up and, and make it the right way. Okay. Yeah, he's gonna make it the right way, <laughs> which I thought was a great idea. But yeah, so all this has to be done. We do have a crawl space. This original house, this section here, this nine feet was the original house built in the 1900 era right there. So it was very small. There's actually a tree stump, and we'll show you later, growing in the that's in the crawl space. It's probably 100 years old where they cut it down and just built the foundation over top of the tree stump. So that's pretty cool. I've seen a bunch of houses down here with like trees actually as their beams and stuff like that. So it's an old area. This was a this was Ocean City before they built the bridge. When they built the bridge, Chesapeake Beach kind of died a little bit, and now it's come back strong in the last 20 years or so. But this used to be, everybody used to take a train down from Baltimore, uh, Washington straight down. That's why 260 is such a straight road. That was an old railroad track. They used to come down here and just chill out and gamble or whatever they did, so. <laughs> Cool. So Allie, you want to wrap just this wrap up? it up. Make sure you like our Team Stuck There Facebook, and you can also push follow, which is near the comment section when you're watching this video. Make sure that you like. Do you guys have a Facebook page? Yes, Severn Plumbing. So like Severn Plumbing on Facebook. We're going to link them in our description. Um, so definitely comment pocket doors or mirror doors on the upstairs closet, the master closet, and then let us know if we should do an island or if we should do the peninsula with the two stairs. I mean the two stools. Cool. So, uh, once again, give us a shout out, you know, share this, like this, uh, like our video, and uh, have a great day. Thanks for tuning in.